everyone. So I'm gonna make a lemon cake today out of that recipe book that I was telling you about. So um, the cake's not for me, because obviously um, as a diabetic, I shouldn't really be eating that sort of stuff. Although I might make a slice, but I'm gonna give it to a friend. I know you're probably thinking, God, you're so hypocritical. One video you're eating rubbish. The next you're talking about low carb shit. But I'm afraid that is the story of my life at the moment. Like the dead flowers on one side and the dead plant on the other. <laughs> Need to get rid of those. And yeah, excuse the uh, frown lines. Uh, this light just shows up every single aging sign on my body. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's a recipe book that I've had for, for about 15 years, um, maybe longer. And, oh, it's, it's really old, as you can tell. It's got lots of sort of old fashioned recipes. Um, so one and a half cups of self-raisin flour. Um, yeah, just give that a good sift. As I was telling you about the uh, the recipe book, I've had it for a long time and it's it's well used. I just love those old fashioned recipe books, don't you? And I love collecting them as well. Um, not that I've got a massive collection, but I just I don't know. It's just something nostalgic about using a vintage recipe. Okay, so one and a half cup one and a half cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. I didn't have any caster sugar. I had to use the ordinary stuff. Um, one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of bicarb. Um, the recipe said one tablespoon of lemon zest, but all I got was about a teaspoon. So what I did was I put a bit of a splidge of of lemon juice in there. Um, 90 grams of butter. I only had salted butter. The cake tasted okay actually. <laughs> um, so I just put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. I suppose I should put a recipe in the description but I'm a little bit of a lazy vlogger. If I had loads of lots and lots of followers I guess I would probably be a bit more professional. Anyway, half a cup of sour cream. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Oh. Oh, why has all the bad stuff got to be so good for you? I mean, tastes so good. <laughs> all right, there's that lemon juice that I put in. As you can tell, this is a, I'm doing a voiceover because my kitchen is so echoey. Um, fast forwarding, I went and forgot to put the eggs in, so... Yeah, that's how it came out. Gas mark. Oh, it was like 180 for 40 minutes. Came out perfect, actually. <clears throat> when it comes to the ice and sugar, I used about a cup and a half of ice and sugar, a um, couple of tablespoons of butter, and a, about a whole lemon, the juice of a whole lemon. Yeah, and this is how it came out. It was delicious. And I hate to say it, I snicked two slices before I gave it to my friend. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. And of course, last but not least, I had to go and do the washing up because I can't stand waking up in the morning to a messy kitchen. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. What am I talking about?